example file transfer program using tcp socket in c in which the client is going to read a text file send it straight up to the server and then the server receive the data and save back the data into another text file so that's going to be the whole program which we are going to implement in the c language so before moving on to the implementation make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to see more such videos so now let's move to the implementation part of this video first we are going to write the code for the server upper part first we are going to include some of the basic header file which you required during this program first studio for basic input out in standard library then string arpa <coughs> slash inet dot h now let's define some constant size Now our main function. <clears throat> First of all, we'll define the IP address in the port on which the server is going to start. We are using the local address, the loopback address. Okay, so the IP is 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8080. These are the file descriptors, socket file descriptor. Now, the structure storing the data server area and new entity. Okay, let me make this more now. Shock len underscore t entity size spelling mistake. Okay, now buffer a character array name buffer with the size specified above the value of the size is defined here now let's start the socket <coughs> socket affinity socket stream as we are going to use the tcp for this node the UDS TCP is connection oriented protocol so it's much better for this purpose now let's check if there's any error there's any error then print error in socket then exit the program otherwise print server socket and create okay now if the program is successful from there next fill the value in this structure sin family is equals to af i need it next let's try the value for the port server area sin port port next the address on which the server is going to be started that is the loopback address on our send for the send ADDR dot s ADDR equals to inet ADDR IP oh, sorry. Okay. now let's bind the address the port so fp struct so ADDR Okay, so we struct struct server area and size of server area. <coughs> now, if again check for error, <coughs> let's copy this. 
so error in binding remove this this just full stop for me now this error can then this this message otherwise print binding successful new line character okay now we start listening f key is just the listen socket fd let's try 10 10 backlogs fp is equals to 0 then print listening else else we have to write the error message and exit the program error in listening ok so now we have successfully listened then we have to accept the connection that is new socket size of new editor ok now new socket accept accepting the connection to the client struct addr pointer new addr and then addr size ok so till now now we have accepted connection to the client now we compile this server dot c output server so we have error ok we have write it two times struct struct line number 30 we check it ok here we have written it two times now let's compile it again ok no problem let's uh, try to run it so you can see the server is now listening now we need to write the client part ok now let me close this and now we'll start working on the client part let's just have these files let's copy this and we also need one thing one library will include this uran std and let's again copy some part Okay, we have specified the IP address of the port again. Socket FD struct socket DDR server DDR. Now we specified file point file descriptor. Okay, file name. So the file name is like. the client is going to read ok let me rename this file as send send it will be confusing let's write as file one dot txt it will be easier so this is file one dot txt so we will name file one txt here this is the path for the file ok now again let me just copy some code from here because the code is going to be seen till here in client we need not to bind we just need to directly connect connect I think everything should be correct naming should be correct somewhere ok so fd struct server ADDR size of server ADDR and let's close this now if p is equals to minus 1 then error in 
connecting and then we will exit else connect to server now we have now we are connected to the server now we need to read the file file pointer tap open file name now we need to read a simple text file if fp is equals to null then let me copy this error in reading file Let us compile the client till now. What do you get? Client, okay. client. It's okay, no problem. Null is two one thing. Start the server now. Start the client. Okay. So you can see server closes and the server socket created and connect the client is connected to server. So till now our program is correct. Now we need to work on the client part part first. Now in the client, the client need to send the data present the file. So we'll create a function send file with file pointer and socket descriptor. Write the function void send file 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 pointer in the socket descriptor int n we don't have an integer data size ok now we need to read the data from the file if f gets while f gets data size the file point is not equal to null then if send now we we'll send the data to the server data the size of data and then zero is equal to minus one this means if this minus one, this means error, an error occurred, and for error, we write the error message and exit the program. Error in sending data. Error in sending data. Okay. <coughs> Otherwise, we will write zero in the data, data character array. So this is the send file program. Now if the file we send is successfully then we should print a message. Successfully. After that we close the socket. So FD and again we can print the message and return zero so now this is the client part okay now we'll once just compile it to see if there's any error okay there's an error here in the and let's see how we can resolve that error. Okay, this written a pointer here. And pointer should not be there. Now it's correct. Now we need to work on the server part where the server receives the data and write the code. We had the new sock new socket. Now again we write this program and write file new socket and after that.
word write file so we send file write file okay. and m a file pointer as we going to create a new file get file name file two dot txt and buffer any characters array buffer size now I'm going to open the file let's do one thing copy this code from here here where it is there we need this piece of code and we'll copy it here file name error in reading file in writing error in creating file so if there is no error then we'll continue the while one and in finite loop we will receive the data from the client and the buffer name character array size in zero now if n is less than or equal to zero then break the loop and return else f printer file pointer percentile s and then buffer then write the data into the file pointer that is the file and again zero out the entire character array return okay now this part is complete up if this returns successfully then this means that the data is returned successfully print a message written in the text file okay now we'll compile the server part also okay no problem now we'll start the server okay now the server started listening server socket created successfully binded and then start listening for the client connection now we'll again compile the client then connect it okay just finished successfully here the client the server socket created connected to the server as we can see file data sent to the server successfully and data written into the text file and disconnected from the server so the simple procedure now we'll see file to created successfully or not see file one this is file one and now you can see this is file one this is file two we have received everything which is written file one to the file two over a tcp network from the client to Sir, sir, uh, server so that's the basic thing we want to implement in this program and that we've successfully implemented just a file transfer kind of thing we have done here but the thing is that it's only uh, for one client in future i will make a video where there where the server can handle multiple clients simultaneously using multi-threading so which is going to be more efficient when multiple clients can where the server can handle the multiple clients I hope you understand the concept and if you have if you still have any query then please uh, comment below I will answer your query now that's all for this video